Hi guys, I'm getting ready to do uh, a mixed media piece. It's going to end up being mostly pastel, but I'm starting out with ink. And what I'm using is uh, Bombay Brown. I'm using uh, FW Olive. And I'm also using FW, what color is this? Indian Yellow. The paper I'm using is uh, BFK Reeves. And I'm just going to start by putting down some colors. And I'm using this lovely brush that I absolutely love. I'm going to st stick that into my, and this brown is almost like a maroon. Don't you just love what this does? And I do want some drips. I want some movement in my piece. I'm going to rinse that out. Then I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to go into some green. I have no idea what this is going to look like. And I'm going to go into water. That's interesting, isn't it? A little bit of green there. Making some interesting runs. sure is interesting. A little bit more green. Some pure green somewhere. if I'm going to put any yellow in it. Let's just try a little bit somewhere. See what happens. This is the Indian yellow. like how the Indian yellow is running down on top of the other colors. Now I have to let this dry.
and rinse my brush. <clears throat> I want some more of that brown. It's called brown, but if you, it, it looks like eggplant to me. I think I'm going to splatter it a little bit with green. And I'm, uh, guys, I'm going to have just, I'm going to have fun again. I'm not going to worry about what it turns out to be. I'm just going to have, I'm just going to play and enjoy what happens. some darkness in there that's why I did that okay I'm gonna I'm gonna stop for a while and let this dry and I will be back well you know what I think I'm gonna just use some water just some plain water I want to get some color on some of the edges where it's just not quite covering it. Now, some of the edges I don't care about, like these over here. I'm going to let these be. Put some yellow right there. Don't necessarily like that yellow there. Maybe I'll put some more of the brown into it.
Okay, Linda, keep your friggin' hands off of it. Okay, turn it at all. Okay, off. I dried it. It's completely dry. Now I'm going to go into it with some marks. I'm going to put uh, some marks in it with uh, compressed charcoal. And I like using General's compressed charcoal. This is what it looks like. General's compressed charcoal. It, there's three sticks in a pack. If I can get it open... I am going to do some drawing. I'm going to get something else to draw with. And this is the art graph disc that I'm getting ready to use. I am dipping it in my water. Because I want it real dark. I like the uh, thick lines and thin lines. Like that. Okay, now I'm going to have to let this dry. So that was the art graft. I was going to put some of this crink into it, but I don't think I'm, I need it. Okay, now I'm going to let this dry. Okay, I've dried it. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put on clear gesso. It's going to look cloudy, but it is clear. It's made by Liquitex. And it's going to give it some uh, tooth for my pastel that I'm going to let it dry overnight. To get some more. I 
like how some of those lines smeared. Okay, I have lots on here now, so I'm going to let this dry overnight, and then tomorrow morning, we're going to get started again. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. I will see you tomorrow. I just wanted you to see that I, I just drew into it with this pencil, and I was going to cover it up with gesso. And just have the line but I think I'm gonna let it go I want to see what happens with the pastel with these lines that are dug into the gesso I have no idea so cuz like I said this is going to be an experimental piece so we'll see what happens